Charlotte and I have been discussing Caroline at length lately. The move, the letter, her motives, her end game. Off camera, of course. But today, that changes. That it does. My name is Lizzie Bennett, and Caroline, you're on. And the look on his face when the papers just flew everywhere. <laughs> it was priceless. May I come in? Sure. I wanted to apologize, Lizzie. I... I should have told you I've been watching the videos that I knew about Darcy's letter. Okay. It's just that we're friends. I care about you, and this is bound to be a difficult time in your life. Being so far away from your family, a sudden declaration of love from a man whom you feel no affection towards. Am I supposed to respond to that? Not at all. But everyone in your life is slowly drifting away. I just want you to know I am here for you. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm all ears. <laughs> and if not, then I totally respect your wishes. I'm always supportive of you, Lizzie Bennett. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Your mom's on the phone. She is? Yeah, she called my line in my office. Uh, I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh, well, it was lovely seeing you again, Charlotte. Hold on a minute. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Why the sudden change of heart? What do you mean? Apologizing and respecting Lizzie's wishes. I do, if that's what You've Lizzie wants. You've had plenty wants of time to... to come speak with Lizzie in private. But instead, you wait until she's shooting so that your apology can be heard by her entire audience. Quite a coincidence. Well, it's only a coincidence if you decide to keep it in. You could cut it. <laughs> you know what, Caroline, you're right. I'll leave it in if you don't mind. No, I don't. Okay, so presumably you won't mind talking some things through with me real quick? I have nothing to hide. Good. Then let's play. So when you found out about Lizzie's videos, you offered to help her with them. Well, she's very compelling. I thought she could use my help while she was staying at our home, since you weren't around. So it had nothing to do with stopping Lizzie from saying unflattering things about you? I'll admit, I wanted to set the record straight. No one likes to be mocked, particularly unfairly, in front of thousands of people. <laughs> but I wanted us to be friends. Friends don't call each other out behind their backs. Right, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, you also offer to help keep the video blogs from Darcy and Bing, correct? I didn't want either of them to find out the terrible things that Lizzie had been saying about them. Uh, it was for their own good. I did it because I loved them. So it had nothing to do with keeping Bing from realizing how sincere Jane's feelings for him actually were, for your self-interests? That's ridiculous. I want nothing but happiness for my brother. I love him dearly. If you care so much about your brother's happiness, that leaves one glaringly obvious question. And that is? How come you didn't tell him how much Jane loves him when Darcy pulled him away? Lizzie, how long have you been there? Long enough. Look, it wasn't that simple. How is it not simple? Hey bro, Jane loves you. There, done. My brother had other responsibilities. And whatever those responsibilities were, does your brother not value true love? True love? That's an illusion. Charlotte, go check the frame. Now. Let's hear it. What exactly do you want to hear? The truth that you don't want your brother to be happy. How dare you accuse me of not wanting my brother to be happy. He is my blood. I would do anything for the preservation of my family. And what about my family? You basically admitted to having driven away your brother from my sister. I admitted to no such thing. Rewatch the videos, you'll see. But speaking of family, let's talk about yours for a second, Lizzie Bennett. Aside from your crippling family-wide debt, your mother is inconsiderate and belligerent. Your youngest sister is an embarrassment to everyone and clearly never thinks before she speaks. And Jane, <laughs> she is going nowhere fast in her career. And yes, one must wonder if she had ulterior financially based motives in seducing my brother. Okay then, I guess we're done. Apparently. Except 
You still want to know what's in Darcy's letter. <sighs> you like him, don't you? And think carefully before you answer that because you never know which special someone might be watching these videos. <laughs> that is, assuming of course that this all makes it past my intrepid editor. Wow, this has been fun. Keep the letter to yourself, Lizzie. Your videos speak volumes to your character and I am sure that certain people watching that will discover soon enough. I look forward to our next encounter. You can cut all that. I don't want you to get fired. Uh, since when have I ever cut anything? But Caroline's your boss's boss's favorite. And you're still my best friend. Thanks for having my back.